Okay, so today I'm talking about an issue I experienced in the field with the DJI Ronin SC2. I believe this also applies to the Ronin S. I'm not sure on that yet. I haven't had my hands on it. I can almost guarantee that if this hasn't happened to you already, it's gonna happen to you at some point. So pay close attention and when it does, think of this video and this is gonna save you a ton of trouble in the field. So what I'm talking about is an issue that happened to me personally and I actually felt pretty stupid um, after I discovered the issue because when you're, when you're in a high pressure situation or you're rushing to an appointment or something like that, think you're checking all your boxes but you really aren't. And so what I mean by that is I was well prepared, all the batteries are charged, the app is updated, the, the gimbal is updated, up to date and um, everything is good to go so I pack it down you know this thing is very compact it fits well in your bag so I break it down throw it in my bag take off um, and to mention too I did balance it before I went but you do need to balance it when you get there too because you're gonna have to set it up again and the whole process of breaking it down you, you might move something or uh, you know may not just put it back in the exact position so in the interest of preserving your battery and these motors for the long run, you're gonna wanna make sure it's balanced every single time you use it. And uh, that could be as little as just, you know, a slight change as pulling the screen out from the back. I mean, something even that small, um, if you didn't have it in that position when you calibrated it, you're gonna need to recalibrate it again. And, and to even drive that home further, if you forgot to put your memory card in when you're calibrating, it's actually recommended in the manual to make sure that memory card is in there so that it is perfectly balanced every time. So I did that. And when I get to my appointment, I'm setting up, getting ready to calibrate it, and I fire it up just like I am now. It takes a second, but everything's facing the right way now. Keep in mind. And then this happens. Okay, so it's ridiculous, you know, no matter what I did, I'm like, this is perfectly calibrated. Everything's up to date. The battery's charged. I did everything I was supposed to and it's not working. And so I thought for a second, I was gonna have to return this because I had a defunct uh, Ronin, but really the answer is so simple. It's uh, almost laughable. I believe this is gonna happen to everyone at some point and that's why I think you definitely need to see what the solution is. Uh, but before I tell you, let me remind you to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below. And uh, if this does solve the issue for you, or you do find some value from it, please be sure to like it on your way out. Uh, I really appreciate the support. All right, so the way you're gonna solve this issue, and this is so ridiculously simple, I'm gonna turn this off real quick. And keep in mind, think back to what I said I was doing at the time. And this is actually how I figured it all out was, um, you know, how this this breaks down real nicely, okay? So um, let's get this essentially how it goes. And, um, you know, like, like for example, you can break this down, okay, uh, to make it fit into your bag a lot easier. And if you do not flip this thing around firm enough and snap it into place every single time, you're gonna have that issue. So watch, okay, look, now it's completely snapped into place. I'm gonna turn it on. Hopefully it's not gonna happen. Oh, perfect. See, it's, it's, that's all I did was just open it and close it again and that corrected the issue. Okay, so, so once again, just to reiterate, powering this guy down, unlocking this, so that my issue was I put it back together so quickly, I didn't realize that the sensor was not touching here it hadn't locked back into place so the the moral of the story is no matter how big of a rush you're in if you ever run into this issue the first thing I recommend you do is just quickly open it and close it just to make sure you have the firm grip you need uh, for it to work properly because see it's going backwards I'm gonna power it down okay see there that little tiny spot right in there it was hardly even noticeable um, but uh, but either way so what you're gonna want to do is just push it back together till you get the snap and then let's hit the power let's get this back it's not good to, to push this thing so it's it's always recommended to you know and if you're balancing it properly too to have 
your gimbal set up exactly how it needs to be on startup. If this worked properly, it's gonna continue to face you the way it is right now. Perfect, okay, so again, if this solved the problem for you, um, I really appreciate those likes, comments, and uh, definitely don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, I'll see you in the next video. Ooh, 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 ooh that hurt.